hand over there and come to us. All right, guys, Justin, we are getting the signal from Brando telling us that we are officially live right now. You know, we started doing this last year, and I think this is one of the fun moments that we had last year, going through. It's the like... The show is fun, Graf. Yeah, but this is like the crash course of all new products. This is the featured right product here. area at ATA Show 2018, guys. It is the morning of day two. Brando's going to show you featured products. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to walk through all the rows of products, point out stuff that we think is cool, and show you guys what is out there. This is like the condensed version of walking the whole show. So let's go. And it's 100% raw, so let's go. Here yeah, we go. We have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. We do not know. see anything you want to know Yeah, here, about. actually, let's focus on that for one second. If you do see a product that Brando happens to come shifting by that you want us to talk more about, ask a question, and we will let you know. So let's go ahead and start to slide through here. All right, Justin, this is very bright green. You can't miss it, so we're stopping What do you first. think this is, Todd, if you had to guess? A Chinese torture. <laughs> <laughs> this, a this torture looks, device? This looks no. like a back uh, straightening device. I think this is for making bowstrings. This so is if you a... you want to get into making bowstrings, got, this is a bow vice, obviously, yeah. right? but I think this apparatus here is for making your own bowstrings from Baker Archery Products. It looks way too complicated for me, which is why I just buy my strings from America's Best. I let them do this part. We've got the Analogix. All right, let's see here. Supplements. You know, we, we live in an area where we cannot do the supplements, but I have heard a lot of things about this particular supplement by Analogix, so... There you go. Such good looking. All right, tree stand, buddy. Justin, I know we've seen this a couple years in a row here, at least. Usually, usually Tommy's my tree stand, buddy. <laughs> Tommy's your tree stand, buddy. So, you mount this big, not bulky at all bracket to the tree, and then this one to your stand, and then it just drops in. Ready, ready to hunt. They got it locked. You can't pull it down, but. There you go. For easy installation. Nice and quiet. Martin Archery's got some new bows. Looks like they've only got... Missing somebody. Yeah, somebody took them. Or some of them, but yeah, this is one of the new Martin Archery bows. Looks like it's the Max, I guess. Looking pretty good here. I know they've got some sort of weighting system. I was watching uh, Brody's video last night where you can actually uh, change these weights out both from side to side and top to bottom to help balance the bow out a little bit. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about this hawk at the show here. I mean, this is probably one of the smallest trail cameras that I've cam. seen. The ghost cam. The hawk ghost cam, guys. I mean, you can see it literally fits in the palm of your hand. Uh, if I'm correct, I think you connect it to your cell phone. That's a pretty cool idea. No, you know what this is for? Guys who can't grow beards right here. See? This is perfect for this me. So you, yeah, yeah you is, look good. I was. This was made for me. We just need to throw a couple of grays in there, and then I really look <laughs> like you. <laughs> Game camera concealment, guys, right there. Here's a, here. Take a look at this. There you go. Game camera concealment. There was a guy a couple of years ago that came out with a product that was called the Cam Bush. Similar uh, concept <laughs> here. I, I actually used it a couple times. It works you're, pretty good. You're you're petting it like it's an animal. I'm grooming it like it's hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at this raccoon. So what is this? Do we bo we booby trap the uh, the bird feeder now? So the raccoon. Oh, no, this, the broadhead this is through the his hand. This is the raccoon that's going to sneak in your house and kill you one night. That's what he's uh, if do. I get killed by a raccoon, I don't deserve to live. Hit and miss. You miss. Either you hit it or you miss it. All right. Next. Go, Todd. Broadheads, broadheads, broad. Everybody likes broadheads. Everyone Everyone talking broadheads. about them, looking at them. We've got Iron Will broadheads, which have titanium ferrules and hardened stainless steel ferrules. Those are pretty, pretty legit looking broadheads. Oh, hey. Am I on camera? Or you are out on a limb. Unique take on camera arms. Jeez, Ty, you're gonna oh, knock the whole whoa, guy's whoa, whoa, display. Whoa. We're good. This is serious. And they put some serious engineering thought in this. Look at this here. Double. 
make up this thing. Not very good for self-filmers, though. No, I don't know how you'd pull that off with self-filming. But man, if you were filming somebody, you wanted to have the there ultimate go, movement. I suppose what you, you could pull it off. What I need. Justin just said I need this. Inside peep system. This is definitely something I need to spend some time looking at for sure. Todd's Light baffle tech. Todd on. can't see well in his old age. It's the second time. Not really you, old age. Middle age. It's the second time you brought up my age in this stream. Thank no, you, I didn't. Justin. Justin's got. Oh, you crazy. mentioned the, his the gray here. Oh, now we're back at Brando. Like that. Four different lenses. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's real cool. I'll have to stop and make sure we get a video with these guys. Gotta myself a bit. Keep coming on down, boys. We got more stuff to look at. We've got some new products from Bear and K on the Cajun line. We've got the Spin Doctor, low fishing rail. They must be big Spin Doctors fans. But then again, who isn't really? Got some new quivers. We got the new bow, Kuma. Pretty cool looking. Up to 345 feet per second. Hope it doesn't fall over. Hey Justin, this is for you. A lot of girls shoot better than me, so. In about, two, in about two weeks, you're going to see some of them. Yeah, exactly. All right, Excel, oh, as always, popular new sites for this year. How many pins that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Easy there, Graph Master. Excel sites. Got Justin, this new, the, new, the new bone collector T-Rex thumb release and if it's good enough for T-Bone it's good enough for me it's easy to load big shot targets needs another, targets for the next generation he needs another year graph one more year look at how skinny his neck is yeah he's not fully mature yet one more year give him another year I'm out. I'm done. You hunting this weekend still? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'm gonna text. So I'm gonna text his wife Amy and see if, he, if she's really one, gonna let him out. One more hunt. I got, I got some button bucks to kill. <laughs> I'm done. All right, big shot targets again. We 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 do need to replace our blade one of these days. What is this style? Hang on. Another single pin sight with an integrated laser rangefinder with the Hawkeye sight. I'm not sure it's the first time I'm seeing this one, guys. It's pretty big looking. Any questions coming in, Brandon? Don't have any questions? True Give some shout outs. Come on. Who's, who's more of a comment? Well, if you see any comments, shout them out to help us along with this. Come on, get interactive with us. Out other products that aren't here. All right, well, let's hear about them. So if we see them, we know what they're looking for. True Fire Synapse Release. All right, True Fire. We'll well, we, haven't, them. we haven't quite gotten there yet. This is a new Spy Point wireless. They're calling this the Link Dark. It's got a pre activated SIM card included, which is kind of nice. Saves you the trouble of having to go through the pain of setting it all up. Pretty good looking. Real habit. They, they, usually come, they, they usually come out with some pretty unique things. I don't know what this is for cleaning my for gun. cleaning your gun. But we're at the archery show, so let's keep moving. Looks Samuel Bartz wants to see some ground blinds. Ground blinds? Ground blinds. Got to look at the That's new NEP. There's one over there. Uh, and over there. Video. We'll Yeti. get to the ground blinds here in Yeti a minute. Coors. Who doesn't like Yeti? Everyone owns a Yeti. I think this is their point. lock system. Or deny locks. Which is this system right here. Oh yeah. For yeah, locking yeah, yeah, your cooler yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. So no one steals your cooler. Somebody want Doug Mead wants to see a closer look at the new four blade rage extreme and the huh? weight. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll take a look there. at it. What's your favorite product so far from Kyle Thompson? Does Kyle Thompson have products? <laughs> uh, 
favorite product so far to have. Favorite? They got to go watch the. Uh, they got to watch the that little review we did with Lancaster. Take a look at that. Yeah, we ground, did that. Ground and blind technology is pretty pretty seems cool. Seems to this be year. stepping up. We've got the Yeti wine tumbler. In case you want to enjoy a glass of vino after your hunt. Look at his target. He's already caught something. Got a chipmunk. <laughs> Coyote's got to eat too, bro. Usually they just eat Clinton's deer. This is Reinhardt. This is Reinhardt targets. It's a grouse. grouse. Good, good looking grouse. They got a crow now. Turkey decoys. You know what? You got to appreciate Reinhardt targets. I mean, my Reinhardt target I've had in my backyard probably for about 13 years now, and that thing is still solid as can be. Ryan Bateman wants to take a closer look at the new HHA sites. HHA sites? We're the Tetra. Guys, we're the Tetra. We are in the featured new product area. We're just kind of hitting them as we go. Keep throwing out ideas. Some of these products that you've been asking about have already been reviewed and are going to be being put up either on our website and on Facebook and on YouTube. So make sure you check all three channels. Probably just do both sides as we go, right? Yeah, just keep doing what we're doing. It's smooth. It's working. Uh, let's see here. Mossy Oak's got some. What's up? Scent control. We've got some new calls here by Rocky Mountain Calls. Oh, look at this. I mean, come on. All kids got it. I mean, how could a kid not love this thing? I mean, this is this is this is fun. This would be fun to just have in our office to shoot you, Brandon. When you got your earphones on and you are always calling your name and you never hear us. <laughs> Let's update everybody where we're at. You guys, right now, for those of you that are just chiming in, we are at the 2018 ATA show. We are in the new product section. Justin and I are hitting this thing fast and furious. It's going to be a little bit longer of a live feed, but we're going to show you we got four or five more rows of new products. So it's our fast way for you to be able to see all the new products that are out. So, okay, these are not dick pens. These are, look at this thing here, Brando. This is called the pit bull. This would be something we would not want to shoot in the office. It looks like pens, but look at these little darts that come with a little plastic youth dart. Cool little handgun, little crossbow. Keep moving. Keep moving. Fast and furious. Not, we're not being very fast. You got this new trail camera here from Moultrie. I don't know much about it, but it says it's the M series. And as you can see, it's about the size of my hand. Open it up, you get six batteries on the inside. My guess is you probably control it from an external device, maybe your cell phone or something, or an external programmer. Pretty cool looking. We have to find out more about that. Around the horn. Or we missed the whole road. There's nothing very good there, personally. I love it. All right, dart and archery. Or new bows from them. Show them the bows there. Got bow finger stabilizers. I feel like the longer your stabilizer, the more serious people take you. So you have to get a longer one. Get some sidebars. They, they look professional. They, they take you more seriously. All right, let's look at this thing here, guys. What is this? The Titan. You're, you're getting out of it. We're just doing one row. I'm changing plans. Sometimes you get a corral graph in. He's out of control. All right, we've got the Titan game card. Check this thing out. First of its kind. Folds into a compact size, so check this thing out right here. So this is your full game card right here in my hand. Folds out, and you strap your deer by the neck, it looks like, <laughs> onto the cart, and then wheel them out. Pretty cool. Well, Justin... From Justin Alton's continues his offers. luck in public land. You may need that. I just need to be shooting a little year and a half holes. They're easier to drag out. Skull hooker. These things are always cool. Like those. It doesn't really show anything new here, but looks good. All right. Come here, Brando. This is a cool product. Yeah, this we came out. This came out last year. Um, it's called the Vine because it's a big fake vine. I don't know if you guys have ever found vines out in the woods. 
but the deer seemed to love making scrapes underneath vines. So they came out with this fake vine where essentially you could put a, a mock scrape wherever you guys want. So the company's called Scrape Fix. The product is called The Vine. Pretty easy to remember. Pretty cool product. These are always great. You gotta love a set of good gator, man. These are great. When you start hunting out west, you're walking around, dude, stuff's always getting your boots. I love these things. You need to get, yeah, for all the western hunting I'm doing these days. All right, blind spot 360. Them. Check this thing out. Live camera. See where you can't live on your phone. So I don't know, I guess if you're in a ground blind or something, you put this camera out and you can see behind you. Something along those lines. I'm trying to read it right now. Real-time viewing on your cell phone from the camera. So it must connect via like Wi-Fi or something to huh. your camera, to your phone. And then you can see where the animals are at. My white tail. So you can take a nap, wake up, this thing phone. I mean, this thing here cuts like a knife. Field super tool for field dressing. Field torque. Reconix has a new camera, the Hyperfire 2. Let's check this out. Same 12 double A's as the Reconyx. This interface looks similar. So the Hyperfire 2. It's like a new one from them. Guys, next up we've got the Havilon. We did a review on this one yesterday. Pretty cool uh, new product from them. It's got interchangeable blades like every Havilon, right? But this uh, knife doesn't fold. And it accepts all different sizes of blades. But I think the big unique thing for them this year is, I don't know if you guys could tell, but this blade is much thicker. So the traditional Havilon bl blades are kind of like scalpel blades. They're very thin and uh, not meant to be resharpened. They're disposable. These are actually meant to be resharpened. So you get all sorts of different blades. You get the fillet blade, you get your, you know, your gut hook and your standard knife, and then you can change it out. And if you want, you can replace the blades or you can resharpen them. They're thick enough now to be resharpened. So that's called the talon. I think it's pretty cool. So I hope on that message it'll go away. That seems pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, it comes with it so in this kit here. So here, here's a random check. Yeah. Cool. We're just going to take this one with us when we go. Here, put us all back in here. Crossbow sling. Not sure the full. What do you think, Justin? Oh, that's a good look for you. New look. Good look. Good way to do some spot and stuff. Here, guys, spot this is cool. Right here. These targets. Like yeah, these dartboards. That's what these are. So you hang this on your wall and you throw darts at it. Dude, we kind of we kind of need one of those for the office. That's kind of cool. You got to make sure you get one of these for the week. Okay, that'd be fun. There you go. We got, we, I mean, that's fine. We got to do that. Make 3D sure you get one. arrow dart targets. We, we, we need a dart target for the office. We are doing one of these. That's cool. Everybody will like that. Skull Max. This must be. This is new. Yeah, that is much heavier duty. It's nice though. Fully adjustable. Go to hang your euro mounts up. That's pretty cool. Play archery golf. We've got ourselves a nice little recurve here from Carbon Express, and then we've got. I suppose you put these out somewhere and shoot at them. Eagle, birdie, par. Todd probably doesn't know what those are. He's not much of a sports guy. I've been playing some Wii golf lately. I'm pretty good. Pretty good. All right, here. Somebody I'm asked about, about the new stabilizers. Somebody asked about the new Rage. Let's show them this one here. So what do we got? Is that okay? So this is it, ah, the extreme four blade. So as you guys can see, I don't know if you can see that in there, but it's a fixed, a small fixed blade head. Looks like about an inch or so cutting diameter, I would guess. And then you've got your Rage Extreme, which is your 2.3 inch mechanical. So essentially a hybrid head, right? Fixed blade and mechanical. It's the extreme four blade from Rage, new for this year. This one also is new from Muzzy. I've been seeing this one. This is the HBTI, the hybrid. But you can see it's got a 
I believe that's a single bevel serrated blade on the fixed blade and then it's got your hybrid um, mechanical blades as well so it's a four blade and the TI means titanium for those watching at home Justin we've been getting a lot of questions about this this is the IQ site laser range finding site here there's a better view of it actually working if you push that button I'll try to point it at something is it getting anything yeah so it's 38 yards to whatever you point it at. Hit the button again, 53, 52. Pretty cool. Laser range. There's been a lot of activity. Right I mean side. Garmin's got one. I mean, it seems like this year was like the year of the range finding sites. There's no question about that. Everyone's asking about that. Somebody asked about this true fire release right here, right? Somebody asked about the true fire synapse. like a nice thumb trigger you looks like you can convert it from a three to a four or maybe adjust this down so it can go to a four finger set up as a three right now but there's a screw right there it looks like that's on a hinge so you can change it from a three to a four available in a bunch of different colors blue green orange red or silver so it seems like uh, thumb triggers are becoming more and more popular every year so here's a new one true fire synapse may have to check that one out a couple questions about the site on the weight. The weight? Uh, it doesn't really say, but I'll heavy. tell you, it's pretty heavy. I mean, obviously, it's got all the electronics built into it. This thing's a beast, guys. I don't know what it weighs, but a lot, as Can you would expect. Ask what the determining pin is for the range. I have no idea. We're going to gonna be have a separate with you. video. We'll have a separate video on this completely, guys, where you'll be able to get all the details. Yeah, like how do you know where it's ranging? Yeah. So your top pin. I don't know. We'll have to go find the IQ site guys and check Justin, we've been giving these guys some exposure. It's so cool. Keeping your binoculars clean, having all your essentials. It seems pretty sweet. I love mine. I just got one for Christmas. You did? I did. But it's a Vortex. They make them for Vortex. Ah. Well, so I got a These are great. One. These are by Alaskan Guide Creations. You, you know, you can put your little range finder in here, put your binos in here. I love mine. This thing's cool. Sure. Yep. This is for if you're Sasquatch, apparently, and you need a boot <laughs> cover. Or do you put both feet in here, or is this just like a mock -up? I'm not sure, but Arctic <laughs> Shield does make awesome boot covers. And apparently they make them for Shaquille O'Neal as well. But for real, there's a lot of guys, We one of the most common questions we see on the forum or come through social media is like, how do I keep my feet warm on late season hunts? And I will be 100% honest with you, these boot blankets from Arctic Shield are a absolute lifesaver. Uh, for me, I get cold feet very easily. So mine are a lot smaller than this, but it's the same problem. Looks like we've got a new pack here from Tenzing. They make nice gear, nice, soft, quiet. This pack, I could probably carry Justin in this thing. It's a big pack, Justin. This is when we do a, a sleepover somewhere. Uh, I don't know I'm doing any sleepovers. Oh, I'll, we're going to find a good whitetail spot. It's going to require us to do some hard pouring it. Phone scope, I know, is a big deal. Dustin uses his all the time out west, so that mounts to your spotting scope, it allows you to take photos and videos right through your spotting scope. So I know Dustin uses the uses his a lot. They've got another product here. It looks like for mounting a, a set of binoculars to a tripod as well. It's just a basic, you know, elastic strap kind of that goes over. Obviously, it adjusts for different size binoculars. So pretty cool product for you Western guys that are doing a lot of glassing. One antenna wasn't enough. Me too, man. Now we got to get good signal. It's a new scouting camera by Covert. So code black LTE. It sends pictures or videos instantly to any smartphone. All right. We covered this one yesterday. The new Tacticam 5.0, 4K Wi-Fi. Now it's got eight times zoom. I think the 4.0 was a five time zoom. Um, Pretty awesome and you can live stream right to Facebook 
from this camera so you can live stream your hunts as they're happening. Just make sure you don't make a bad shot because then everybody's going to see it. We've got some wild parrot deer attractant. The strongest deer magnet since the invention of the corn pile. Here we go, Justin. Ooh, the chama. That thing's nice, right? We need some for turkey hunts we coming do. up. This, this chair feels good, guys. Comfortable, it's quiet, looks like it's fully adjustable. Oh, All right, give it up and show them the chair. I know that this chair also you could pop this back out of it and it converts from an actual chair to just a stool Go ahead. right depending on what Pull you it. want Pull it. yeah there you go so now it converts from a chair down into a stool yeah it comes apart real easy locks in place nice yep. comes with its own bag accessories in it, straps up into the outside of it, tripod or whatever, so pretty cool product. Hand warmers, rechargeable. I do spend a lot of money on those little hand warmers. You always dispose on This is probably a better way to go. Come here, Come here Brando. The guy I ran into this morning was telling me about this new product. It's the Enki bow case, right? So this is a hard plastic bow case but it's all padded if you want to take a look at the inside. But your bow just slips into it like this, and then this, and then this just closes down. Let me back up a little bit. So you'd slip your bow in here. It's got Velcro to attach it down there, and then you're literally just shutting it like this. It's got a handle there, wheels on the other side, so it's rolling, or you can pick it up from the handle on the top. Pretty cool product, especially for those of you guys that do a lot of traveling. You don't want your bow to get too beat up. Pretty neat product. Looks like a little accessory case, maybe that just goes inside. The, oh, oh the yeah. Case. I gotcha. I'm following. Yeah, that. just for accessories, sights, whatever. These are cool. Don't, don't, even talk about don't eat them, Todd. I'm not eating. Don't them. eat those. You do not eat those. <laughs> Dead down winds. New laundry bombs. Laundry bombs. This is pretty cool too, guys. From Tinks for this year. Yes, so they very came out cool. with this dial a dripper product, which basically allows you to convert any bottle of scent right into a dripper so they could take a bottle of power scrape and literally when you buy this uh the the dripper part it's literally just the cap so you would take the cap off of your bottle screw this on you can fold this thing back so now you've got a way to hang it in a tree uh, and then you've got an actual dial here on how fast you want this thing to drip so it controls the flow of the drip so essentially you, you know no more having to buy bottles and then fill drippers up you just buy the bottle, screw this on, and hang it right in the tree. Kind of a pretty cool product. We do a ton of mock scrape, so this is gonna come in handy for this year. Got the new Obsession bow. The Fixation. I know this thing comes in a ton of different color patterns. It's got different color cams on it, so pretty cool. The Quiet Cat. I love oh, my Quiet Cat. The Quiet Cat, Todd's favorite. I love my little product. Get in trouble. Oh. Violator! I'm not taking hey. Quiet cats and switch bags here. Good. I love mine, guys. I'll tell you what, I used it quite a bit this last past year for slipping in and out of spots. It's it's awesome. I mean, I'm double thumbs up on the quiet cat. Well, we were talking about that for that one lease. 
Got some feeders over here from Moultrie. Todd's got a few of those out of this corner. Yeah. Look at this thing. Monster Moto. That thing just looks like it'd be fun to drive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got the Rambo. Another electric bike. Oh, it's got a kayak slash canoe. This is for like your super hardcore guy that like bikes in with a canoe and then gets in like a river and then paddles somewhere. <laughs> That's like mega hardcore action right there. I like to just walk like 300 yards from my truck. I'm with you. That's buddy. just me. <laughs> the Ripper. The Ripper 415 from Killer Instinct. Pretty cool looking little crossbow. Was curious who makes those blinds. Uh, Which ones? That was. Hold on, I'll tell you. That's from X Stand. Called the Kingpin Blind Tower Kit. Pretty cool idea. This is pretty cool too. This Hawk Battle Box that you got here. Oh, oh, oh. So it's a whole kit where you essentially just build your own box blind on that platform. It takes five minutes to set the whole thing up, they say. Have they ever watched us set stuff up? <laughs> you just gotta follow the instructions. I was wondering what this was with the solar panel. It is a feeder. A, a deer or hog or whatever feeder. It's just got a solar panel to run it so you don't have to have a be replacing the battery all the time. We don't do much of that in Illinois because it's illegal. We got another uh, scent dripping product here from Delco, the drip scent. Similar concept, right? You just hang it in the tree, scents in a bag instead of in a bottle. Open it up and it drips out. A lot of mock scrape action going on these days. Got some scent crusher gear. Looks like about the same as last year. We've got a camo bag. That way the deer can't see your, your bag in case you leave it in the woods. Here we go. This is a new one, the Spike Press. I've, not, I've yet to see this one, but it looks like a pretty this fancy. Is a beast. This is a pretty fancy bow press. Adjustable finger system down here. It looks like it'll press bow, compound bows or crossbows. Pretty cool looking product. You put your head up here with you. It's pretty cool. Let me let's check this thing out. So it comes in pieces, right? So here's all your sides, and basically it just assembles together. So this is almost like a Sintra or a PVC side. You feel it? So this is um, like a synthetic material for the sides. So it's super lightweight. It comes in just panels, and you assemble the thing yourself on top of one of these platforms. Pretty cool idea. Let's go. Lines. Your last chance, bow press. This is the one I've got. The easy green with the drawboard. This drawboard attachment for the last chance press is phenomenal. I love this thing. I use it all the time. Alright, keep going. Alright, let's hit this aisle right here. I was, I was dealing with it when Cyan, blue fiber optic. Got the racks systems here. It's cool bow hangers for your house, right? Yeah, he never called us. Laser cut metal. Hang that on your wall. That's your a reminder to coming. him. You were probably supposed to call him. No, but. I saw him. You forgot to call him. Uh -huh. Power This. this is a thorn archery, it's a new mechanical broadhead, where essentially when it's, I don't know how this one exactly works, the guy showed it to me the other day, but the premise is that the blades are fully enclosed inside the ferrule, and then when it hits the animal, this tip pushes back, 
and actually forces the blades to open like so. So it's a correct opening mechanical. Perfect purpose. size broad edge for you. I need, this will really increase your front of center and your penetration shooting one of these. <laughs> it's got about a seven inch cutting diameter. Most accurate broadhead ever. Did you see this one with these blades? I think I've heard that before. Oh, these are just for the outserts. Okay, I got it. This, this, this. I see it. I got it. Now. Apparently they shot one through the head of some sort of animal and it went through. There we go. Bino Bandit. For shielding light. So you can see better. Kind of a neat little idea. Cool. Sight cover. Happy hour. Apparently we're getting our deer drunk now. You think that makes them easier to kill? It is super concentrated mineral attractant. Kind of looks like a Bloody Mary for deer. All right then. Here's a looks like a new case, case by either. Lakewood. They've always made nice products. It's a double, double bow case. Arrows. A little sensory case too. Not at all. Bronc box, guys. This is pretty cool. So the Bronc box, you keep this thing in your in your truck, right? And you've got bow storage up here, and then you keep everything else down below. Somehow you can chuck this thing. I probably got it wrong, but get all your other hunting gear in here. This thing is super hardcore. Just keep that right in your truck. Check it out, Brando. It weighs 55 pounds, so you're probably, you're probably not going to be moving it around. I need to start weightlifting. This is a nice little it's a hollow box. What will the scent lock, scent blocker merger do to their product line? Really, really nothing, right? I mean, uh, Good question. no, they're keeping the two brands separate. The scent blocker, scent blocker, scent lock, scent lock. They're going to probably integrate some of the technology from the two different companies. So there'll be some kind of cross pollination of the technologies. But, you know, by and large, they're just going to maintain two separate brands. I know they're going to be re releasing a, a full line of all new scent blocker products later this year and into 2019. We'll have um, more but all the new scent lock stuff is already out for this year have been released anyways. Um, but no, it's not really... Well, we're meeting with them about 10.32, so we'll have more. Yeah, we're going to be doing a live stream from the scent lock booth later this morning. While Justin and I are talking, I keep seeing Mike taking photos over here. I don't know what he was taking photos of until I got a closer look. Uh, hey, that's now. Hey now. Somebody want to know who makes this box. That is a Bronx box. Bronx. <laughs> got another hunting chair over here. Doesn't look it's quite as beefy. It's a little uh, more economical version, a double bowl. So that's from Primos. everything extreme so come here guys we've got extreme hand scrub that looks like sawdust in a, a bottle it removes 99.9% .9 of bacteria well that's cool if it does actually do that but what's with people in the hunting industry making everything extreme and then they spell it without the E it's like a pet peeve of mine guys anybody watching if you start your own company don't call it extreme anything Okay, we have enough extreme hunting products. If you are gonna make it extreme, just leave the E on. And quit spelling things with a Z that should have an S, because that doesn't make it cool either. That's my advice to everybody. What was the name of that tan hard shell bow case that was over, the, over uh, there, that folded uh, up? I don't know, we showed it, go back and watch it. Rewind, yeah, it started guys. with an E, it was like Urkel or Urkai or something like that. I don't know, we'll go. We're gonna do a video with them Enki, later. They're e N K I. Enki. E N K I. Enki. There used to be another company out. Um, it was Pole Mountain Outdoors. I think they went out of business. They had a case that looked just like that. Uh, it was red. Remember they used to have a video of a guy yeah, dropping yeah, it off yeah. a crane and. I do. Very similar concept. Look, guys. Here's another product. 
extortion. Again, missing the E, starting with the X. Just give it up, everyone. It's played out. You know, I missed that throw over there. I see Dead Ringer over there. Let's go over there and see what they got. We got Dead Ringer's Super Freak Extreme. We got the Expo Series. Sweet way to carry your bowl around. Glacier coolers. Soft sided cooler. I definitely need to get one of these for turkey hunting this year and bring the enough drinks and food. Hey, look at this. Remember this thing going up here? The Razor Raptor. We actually did a really big write-up on this thing. Got a lot of traction on the website. The Razor Raptor. We do. It's a sharp dress. Well, they run a recovery of the seat. We did. I didn't know that. Oh, look at Justin. Justin's all ready to go. Justin's where? I can't even see him. <laughs> How do I shoot the turkey now? So I'm holding this thing. Where's no, my it's bow? attached to your bow. You attach it to your bow. I don't know, man. Let's, I'm gonna hold on to it. Oh, you gotta be behind me then. I think you have a guy. Shoot it. Oh, do you? Attach it to the bow? Well, I've seen them. I've seen them. I've seen them do it. Oh yeah, right there, maybe. No, I don't know. I don't think so, man. I think you gotta have. It. I mean, it's a pretty cool idea, right? You just pop it up. Oh, it's an umbrella, dude. Oh, oh, <laughs> there we go. No, you lay you lay it down on the ground. Mm. Or you well, set, yeah, I mean, set, I could just do like set it down, yeah, dude. That's what yeah, we do. I don't know. Maybe it's adjustable. It's like Maybe it's adjustable. Maybe it has a hinge. I don't see it. All right, we gotta stop over at Turkey Fan. We gotta go to Turkey to Fan. Explain. Sorry, this. Turkey Fan guys. We will go over to have that further explained. Looks good though. There's no doubt, dude. I'm getting a cooler for turkey out here. I'm not sitting all day again and dying with no drinks with Josh Sturgill. There's no way I'm doing it. I'm getting a cooler. That's true. He left early, yeah. so. All right, let's see you guys. I'm not gonna. We're gonna go back down. Some beautiful camo lingerie. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. Somebody says a rod pulls out of the handle. There you go. Ah, there you go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, Silicone wrist slings from 30 odd six, all different colors. And they don't get stinky to your bow fishing. That's what Dan Richardson told me. I'm not a bow fisherman. What is that thing? The scent blaster, Todd. Go check that out. Right there. Active scent dispersal system. Oh, another scent dispersal system. It's just what the industry was clamoring for. Perform any scent. <laughs> Look, fill the reservoir with scent, slide it to connect, attach wick, and turn the fan on. Oh, it's got a fan. Built on fan. It's blowing that scent out. <laughs> Scent's just going, and those deer, they're coming, baby. Better get ready. Better grab your bow. Get ready. The Poseidon. Todd's got the battery charger down there. There is no question about it. If you're looking for the most indestructible charger, never want to run out of any sort of... You don't want your phone ever to go dead. This is the way to go. Poseidon. It's a good product. So any of those new swivel chairs more comfortable than anything that's out right now? 
What's that? Somebody's that asking about those chair? swivel chairs. Charma chair? Yeah, that thing's adjustable and probably yeah more comfortable than anything else that's out there. It's a great, super high quality, good product. Come around this way, Brando. So Spartan camera. For those of you out there that don't know who they are, they've got uh, you know cellular cameras. So this is their new one here. I think this is the Verizon 4G camera, which will actually transmit video. Uh, instead of just photos if you set it up to video mode so it's got this new big antenna but their big thing for this year is they've got this new portable battery box uh, for those of you with cell cameras man sometimes you are putting these things out in areas that are super super far away from home which is the benefit of having a cell camera but the batteries go dead on them right so now you can get you know a monster battery box and not have to worry about your batteries going dead every couple of months if you're not going to be out there so pretty cool from spartan we've got some more stabilizers there's so many stabilizers i can't even keep track of Tight spot, our favorite quiver. Yeah, well, no, this is cool for this year. Here, let me grab it. Yeah, it's oh, got that's, a that's, suit, you know, know. that's been for a while. So for this year, tight spot's got a an optional second bracket uh, up here to our supple sec, ugh, secondary grabber that just actually pops on and off. So if you're guys that are shooting mechanical broadheads, right, a lot of times you can't really force them into the hood super tight, otherwise it starts to deploy the blades. Uh, and only having one gripper, that sometimes they get a little, little loose in here. So the addition of the second gripper is going to eliminate that problem for the guys with the mechanicals that can't really jam them super tight up into the hood. So this is uh, new from Tight Spot from this year. They changed their bracket here around a little bit to make it just a little bit more stable as well if you're shooting uh, with the quiver on your bow. So. I love these things. Todd and I have been shooting tight spots for years. Todd Shot asks, what's the new Covert camera with the second antenna? Is it just a booster? Yeah, the Covert camera with the second antenna. I'll be, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not sure. We're going to have to go over to their booth and, and look. Actually, will hold an energy focused awareness spray. Right here. Just so you know. So just in case I don't have any pockets to carry things, now I've got a quiver that I can put stuff other than arrows in. You know what? This is what I needed, really. I've got the magnet drop. This is kind of a cool rest. So this rest is kind of like a full capture rest. I know you can't see it here. We'll have to get to their booth. But when the rest is in the down position, those arrows or those little... Um, I guess you'd call them little claws or clamps, keeps your arrow secure so it's full capture. Move your bow around, and then as you draw back and that picks up, those open up um, so your arrow's sitting on top of the V and then it used magnets actually to activate the drop away mechanism. So pretty cool rest. Uh, I believe it's made in Wisconsin if I'm correct by Buck Rub Gear. So pretty neat. No torque. It allows you to hit what you're aiming at, which is always a good thing. So you must, oh, you put your fingers in here. See that? It's like finger cuffs. I don't know exactly how it works, but we'll have to check that out. Looks like it's got different size rings, depending on the size of your fingers. Easy V sight, we covered this one last year. Kind of a neat product. Check that out. More trail camera mounts. There is a Raven video on our website, our Facebook page, and our YouTube channel. What people are asking about the Raven crossbow? Yeah, the Raven. Raven, Brando. Raven. Raven. Yeah, we did a Raven video yesterday. They've got they've made some improvements to their bows, uh, just usability improvements. Um, I think they changed the safety a little bit. They changed the stock uh, a little bit, but other than that, they're not super super un different, I guess, from last year's offering. So. Yeah, we did uh, videos on those already. It's the cloak. Yet another scent dispersal system. Hunters must be really in dire need of new ways to disperse our scent into the woods. The old 35 millimeter canister with uh, cotton balls just isn't good enough. You can't get those anymore. All right, well guys, we are starting to run out of battery. We are at the last aisle, so we're gonna cut this one off. 
Uh, appreciate everybody watching. Stay tuned. We're going to have more videos throughout the morning. Again, if you guys have any questions about any product that you're seeing here or that you've heard about somewhere else, definitely let us know uh, and we'll try to get to them. So Todd and I got to get to work. We got meetings and whatnot. Enough playing around in the new product section. We'll see you guys later.